What's going on, guys? My name is Garrett from the Jobless Gamer Channel. Today, I'm joined with Mr. Boss for the win. Hello. And the Saints fan. What is up? We're doing Squadcast episode 28, and today's topics include the next gen release date and everything dealing with next gen and PC GTA 5. But before we do that, Ross, this Squadcast is sponsored. Let the viewers know all the information they need to know. Yeah, the Squadcast brought to you by OpinionOutpost.com. I've worked with them before, super awesome website. Basically, it is like research company needs your opinion on like food, movies, or like GTA 5, Guardians of the Galaxy, whatever it might be. They need your opinion, and you can receive awesome rewards like cash, Amazon gift cards. I personally choose PayPal gift cards because I just insert that onto my Xbox 360 or PS3. I get shark cards. That's how I personally funded all the last DLC. It was crazy expensive, like $2 million per plane. I don't have the money for that, but I use Opinion Outpost, got all that stuff. So it's free to join. Just check the promotions tab on your gmail and you can check it out from there there's ten thousand dollar quarterly prizes so every time you enter in that you're going to be entered into the drawing you can win 10 grand click the link in the description whether you're on austin's video my video garrett's video click that link sign up it's free get yourself shark cards pay for dlc super easy yeah man like honestly i think a lot of people need money now especially after that flight school dlc whether if they thought it was a bust or not but man everybody was wiped dry with that so definitely Doing this for free, like, why not, right? I mean, it totally beats paying, what is it, $20 for shark cards? Yeah. So, oh, yeah, it's easily. That's definitely a win. Yeah, it's a very easy way. If you have a little bit of extra time in your life, you want to do some surveys, do it while do you're your doing opinion. this podcast. Yeah, while you're tab. watching this podcast right now, while you're at school, whatever the case may be, go ahead and sign up and uh, let's jump right into today's squadcast. Yeah. So, the first topic, I guess, is going to be next gen GTA 5. And if you guys would like, we can also touch on the fact that we still haven't heard anything about heists. Does that sound good to you guys? Sure. <laughs> All oh right, gosh. perfect. So, first topic being next gen GTA 5. As a lot of you guys know from our videos yesterday, Rockstar out of nowhere was like, hey, by the way, next gen is coming out November 18th. Whoop de doo. Here you go. Hey. Like, you know, to be fair, though, the date, like, I actually like November 18th. Like, obviously, people want it earlier. But November 18th, that's good because we all know GTA, like, we're going to be playing that for a while, especially on the next gen with all the new features. Like, at least this time, we uh, get to play the newer, or, like, some of the other games, like Assassin's Creed, uh, Far Cry, and, I don't know, Call of Duty, Halo. You know, we can play those and get those out the way before we get back into GTA. So I'll give, I'll give Rockstar uh, credit for that. I don't know if they did it on purpose They're or smart. Not, but... Yeah, they did sure. it. They did it after the big AAA releases. They did it after Borderlands, like you said. They did it after Assassin's Creed. They did it after probably their biggest competitor, which isn't even going to come close, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. So yeah. literally, everyone's going to play through those games, and they're going to be like, "Hmm, what's coming out next? Boom, GTA Five on next gen." So timing yeah. couldn't be better. It's like four or five weeks before holiday time and Christmas, so mm -hmm. the sales are going to be. Even, it's actually, I think, the week before Thanksgiving, so the perfect, like, you have a week to play it. Oh, man, with no school, it's going to be awesome. So what do you guys think that this game is going to do performance-wise? you think it's going to go crazy sales like it did with GTA Five on uh, current gen? Yes. I, well, it's probably not going to hit a billion. Like, that's, like, I think that's to be expected. But I would say, like, what is it, maybe 500 at least. You think it's going to outperform Destiny? Oh, without a doubt. For sure. I mean... I don't know. Destiny had Activision like marketed behind it, so yeah. don't had, underestimate like, almost, Rockstar's like, marketing, though. Yeah, but although yeah, although, what are they gonna start paying YouTube? To be fair, though, <laughs> to be fair, they haven't done really much lately. Like, we just got the the thing because uh, we're recording this on Friday, so we just got the the news today. But they haven't. I haven't really seen ads for it. They I don't do seen... much until like three weeks away, and then it's like GTA Five is every commercial for every NFL football game for an entire <laughs> week, and it's just like, oh yeah, yeah this is coming out. Yeah, they they literally take over skyscrapers and buses and everything. So <laughs> GTA Five everywhere. It's literally what is it, it is. Yeah, it's great because I actually I'm really excited actually. When I when I heard the news this morning, you guys know I, I was already awake. <clears throat> I was about to go to sleep. I check news wire because I always like to check news wire before I go to sleep for some reason. It's just habit, and I know you guys do the same thing. Like you guys are always checking news wire, and uh, I look and boom, there it is. I'm like, oh, I think I cream my pants. Uh. I was just so, uh, I was just so excited, and um, I don't know. I I was mind blown that that actually freaking happened. That it actually came out because 
We've been waiting for so long for this well, information. It was a Friday too. Like at what six in the morning? Like what an <laughs> what? odd time, right? I mean, what I a random time. Does whatever they want, but come on, man. <laughs> Normally they do that stuff on Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, it was just so random. I don't think anybody was expecting it. Just came out. I was like, all right, here we go. So I called you, Ross. Called you, Austin. I was like, all right, we boys, we we got this. It's game time, it's man. Good. Get the heck up. It's time to record. And it it worked. I mean, the views were up. We did we did all right yesterday, and I'm I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy about the way that everyone's um, excited for GTA 5 on next year. There's a huge hype behind it already. There is, although I will admit some of the because I've just been browsing, you know, Reddit and and some other sites, and I think a lot of the PC people aren't too happy. Oh, I'm because, not happy either. Because all right, if you guys aren't familiar, which I mean you should be, but if you're not, if you've been living under a rock and you just check out Squadcast every Saturday, then. November 18th is the day PS4 and Xbox One comes out, but January 27th, 2015 is when PC comes out. So, I mean, I'm sure there's there's multiple reasons why that's the case. PC users are going to feel like they got screwed over again. And, yeah. I mean, rightfully so, because, I mean, they kind of did. Like, Be- yo, they, they said fall for PC, like, when they, inc- when they said fall for the uh, next gen, they included PC in that, and then they're delaying it again. Now... Whether they're delaying it because it's not ready, like, I can accept that. But I think most people are just going to assume they're delaying it because they want more money. Like, because I'd say there's a couple people that would would have bought PC if it came out, just PC when it came out, or if it would have came out with Xbox One and PS4. But now people might be like, all right, you know what? I need my next-gen fix, so they'll buy the PS4 or Xbox One version, and then, what, two months later, get the PC. So then, obviously, Rockstar gets more money because they get two more additional copies sold. But it's tough because yeah, it is. I mean, it's obviously, it's a business, so you got to realize that. But uh, not many PC people. Are... <laughs> I feel bad for PC for strictly PC gamers, and I know there's a lot of you guys out there that like literally don't have consoles. The only thing you have is a PC. I feel so bad because it's like I feel like you guys have just been played with for the past year and a half. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of disappointed too, though, because I was so excited to play PC. I mean, and it's only two months or, or three months or two and a half, whatever. But it's still, man. That's the thing, though. Like, I was, when I saw the news, I was like, oh, November 18th, cool. And then I saw, you know, January 2015 for PC. I was like, oh, shoot. That, that's unfortunate. But the thing is, for us, I think that the next gen will hold us over very well. Until PC, oh, for it'll, pre- sure. it'll prepare us so that you know once PC does come out, we'll be ready. Now the only downfall to this that I see is that if we are going to be PC majority PC gamers once PC is dropped, where are you going to transfer your character? Because you only get one transfer. Well, I-, I heard or I didn't hear anything, but I saw it was a good idea, which Rockstar might look into, like or what they you know kind of should is. We can transfer, obviously, to Xbox One or PS4. Well, I wonder if they will allow us to transfer from PS4 or Xbox One to PC if we want to, since they are delaying it. Because that would make it a little bit more fair, so I could have the same character, say, on PS4, and then two months later, all right, let's go to PC now. Instead of making a completely different character or waiting, you know, until PC comes out. The thing is, like, I don't want to level up again either. <laughs> I don't oh, want to. This is the biggest struggle. It's the no. worst. It is the worst. And but, oh, God, just thinking like I will have to level up on. Right. Two I remember. Of the three. Like, well, how did you guys level up? I know the the way I leveled up to like almost a hundred was like the first two days of the game, yeah, which everybody did rooftop rumble. It was rooftop rumble and uh, the one behind the strip club. I can't remember the name. Uh, yeah, violent uh, duck. Yeah, violent, violent duck. There you go. There you go. I did those so, two yeah. on repeat, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. blowing up the stuff. I leveled so fast. Yeah. And nowadays and... it's like those double RP weekends, everyone's like, yes, yes. We need so it. So good. Level you one, really... level two. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the pinnacle, boys. <laughs> I know. It, that is going to suck, though, because, I mean, we're going to have to do, because I'm assuming we're all going to get it on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. So we can only choose one console, and on the other console, we are going to have to level up again. Which, yeah. Good lord. So I've already uh, decided what console I'm going to be switching my main character to. Um, what? 
and that's gonna be PS4. I think we're all doing yeah. PS4. I think I think the majority of people are going PS4. Like even just the community. Uh, you guys can let us know in the comments. Actually, would you know if you are getting it? This for is next too, about to turn one? into a war. Uh, yeah, and I don't. War, like, I don't want it to turn into a war either. And I think we all individually have our own reasons why we're trying to turn to PS4 and not Xbox I think, One. I think one of the biggest reasons is for us YouTubers, like, Sony obviously has a deal with Rockstar, so there's going to be some exclusive stuff. And obviously, if it's, you know, going to be exclusive on PS4, that's where we're going to, you know, make our, our, have our character. So I think that's, that's one of the big reasons for us. But, yeah, there are obviously some other reasons, but and we are going to give I don't even have an Xbox One yet. But I will have I will have it on both, and the reason for that is because I do want to be able to play with people on live streams, hoping that I I actually uh, get around to play on the Xbox One ever if if that's the case. I mean, I know for the PS3 I had the same dilemma, where I just hated the PS3. I mean, yeah. I just now I hated the console. I just hated hated the grind I had to do to level up another character. Yeah, that is true. That is, I don't know, man. I I almost want. I almost wish there was like a, maybe like a, a revamped leveling up system, kind of. I don't know. I mean, it'd certainly be nice. It'd be great. But, I don't know, it's so tough. It's so tough to like. <laughs> that is going to turn a lot of people off, though. Like Leveling? Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's turned all of us off just now singing about well, it. No, I wonder. <laughs> I'm so disappointed yeah, right. now. We're all like, God, next gen's great, but we got to level. Well, I think yeah. I think we're in in the uh, in the minority here, and and you might be one of those people who have an Xbox One and a PlayStation Four. But I think Rockstar is under the assumption that you're choosing one next generation console, is- or you're going to go to PC. I don't think they have the one percent of YouTubers in mind that are going to be doing PC, <laughs> Xbox One, and PlayStation Four. So we can sit here in our like one percent high rise suite saying like, yeah, right? "Dang it, this stinks." <laughs> But I also think Rockstar is just saying, like, okay, 99% of people, or maybe, like, 95. I, I don't really know. I don't know the percentage of people that own both consoles. But it's likely that only a large group of people are only doing this on one console. So, Yeah, I'm actually not too worried about PC because I don't I don't think – on PC, PC is just totally different. Like, I don't think online is going to be the same online – not like obviously what Rockstar provides, but like how the community plays it. Like there's gonna be mods. Um, hopefully there's gonna be servers and stuff. So I don't think leveling is gonna be as bad on PC. But yeah, the Xbox One that's definitely gonna suck. But uh, you know, getting off of that topic, maybe we don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, we don't want, we don't wanna downplay uh, the fact. I swear, like every time we have great news, we always find the bad in it. And I, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you, you almost have to. Just I think, to, yeah, because we're, we're 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 the media. I mean, we're the news. This is what we do. Like we find we find all the the pros and the cons, and we weigh them. And I, I honestly think that next gen uh, GTA Five is going to be something that we're all looking forward to, all excited about, and really have been waiting for this day for a, for a while. Because for a long time, Austin Ross and I have been waiting like every day. Like, man, you know, we've been. I I think I we, I can say that we've been literally postponing a lot of things that we want to do in real life because we're scared to do other things because like if we go on a trip if we go somewhere together if we do something you know the chances of a dlc dropping on that week that we're gone together is pretty high or news being released that we'll miss and it's not cool like you don't want to be in that position where you're always like you know scared to do something and i think that uh with this news wire it's it's taking a burden off our shoulders i think we're we're we're, we're, we're able to relax yeah it gives us a comfort like hey you know, we have a confirmed release date for these next-gen consoles, and now we have some free time in order to do things that we want to do. So, pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, it's I incredible. Think. Yeah. Now, now getting into the trailer that they actually released, what did you guys think about the it trailer? It got a little Just... bit of hate. Yeah, it Really? Because I thought it was kind of weird. Not, not to say it, it was, was bad. It was just kind of weird. I don't think it did next-gen justice. No, like, no, I don't just, think so either. It was so weird. I... Yeah, it was he just did, like it was pretty much. I would say sixty percent of it was kind of, was cutscenes from the Strangers and Freaks missions, and I don't know why they did. They mean yeah. to do that? Was that like the theme of that? Yeah, I don't know. Cause, I, I mean, don't know, but I do know that they have whales. <laughs> yeah, yeah right? whales and cats. Whales, whales, and whales and cats. yep. <laughs> they have new dogs. Next gen, everyone. But yeah, man, I don't know. It's uh, 
on a it definitely field. didn't show off as much as I would have expected. I think the newswire was the most impressive thing, saying everything that yeah. was coming. Like I, I'm, I'm very optimistic. Like a hundred new songs, new vehicles, new oh, guns. Are you really excited about the new songs? Yes. I'm not gonna listen to the new yeah, songs. Yeah, I don't listen to them. What's it? You're lying <laughs> to us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know you don't drive around with your music on in the I, game. Not, not on my main account. Whatever. Hundred songs. Who cares? That yeah. is just like, that's like, hey, by the way. There's new tires. Okay, well, the new the new vehicles, the new weapons, the new clothing that's going to be in there. That stuff excites that, me. I, yeah, I think that you know, new weapons, new clothing, new cars. But see, the one like, and this is what is going to be really interesting to see, because if Rockstar messes what I'm about to say up, it's going to turn a lot of people off. They're showing us these single player trailers, and look, it, it's single player, and you, you know that going into the trailer, but you're going to expect most of the stuff that's being shown to transfer to online, especially next gen. There's no, there shouldn't be any uh, excuses. Well, there's, there's 30 player lobbies now. That's intense. Okay, that's, that's cool. But I'm talking about like the, um, like the animals, the, um, yeah, like I better the, be able to ride a whale. <laughs> right. That'd be cool. But, but stuff on, like that. Shamu. Let's go. Shamu. Cause <laughs> That's going to be so disappointing if some of the stuff that they have been showing doesn't get ma- doesn't transfer to online. And I'm always nervous that it is. Yeah, there's yeah, always that possibility. I, it's like, you know, we had all this online trailer. Yeah, yep, exactly. Just clear the air. God, you know what's going to be? Oh, my God. Imagine, just imagine if they don't release GTA Online. With the drop of next gen, no, that no, that's oh not. my, it's like you have to wait till December. <laughs> no, that wouldn't. That'd be so dumb. That'd be so freaking. Because everybody's funny. played this story more or less. Yeah, but there's increased grass foliage. Oh yeah, increased <laughs> the... draw distance. I wonder actually. I, I saw some stuff. I wonder if they're actually going to be putting more strangers and freaks or more missions into the game. That'd be pretty interesting. I don't know, but when I was looking at the 16 new screenshots they released from, from PS4, the whole time I was talking about them, I was just like, guys, just think of all the grass. There's so much foliage. <laughs> it's like, every picture is like a close-up of like blades of grass, and then you have like Franklin in the background. Or you have like... It looks so cool, though. I like the grass. I know. It looks amazing. But the thing, it's so weird saying like, oh my god, guys, look at the grass. The grass. Like, <laughs> the grass is beautiful. And I felt so weird when I was doing my commentary because like, the whole video felt like it was just me talking about the grass. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm a grass expert, though. And I'm just speaking how beautiful the grass is. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, yeah. that was good for the screenshots. But I think that Rockstar has something uh, seriously awesome in the works. And with all that discussion just out of the way, let's use this opportunity now to roll or dive right into where are heists? Where are heists? <laughs> In I the mean, grass. literally. In the grass. They're, <laughs> they're stuck. They're, they're in stuck. the grass. Oh, you seen the one picture with uh, Trevor and the, the bunch of traffic? They're stuck in traffic. <laughs> hey, that, that is a nice. more accurate Los Angeles. <laughs> right? Is, See, yeah. and that's another thing that I hope transfers to online. Like, I guess some people don't want as much traffic, but I think it'd be cool, man. I'm playing GTA Online right now, and I've seen the same car like four for the cars, past right? mile and a half. Yeah. So, It's that stupid car that Simeon wants. Every car you get in is one Simeon. Hey, like, it'll man, just change nice on the fly. You'll be like, all right, I'll check my text message. All right, none of these cars are on there. Oh, wait, no, I sent you another text message right as you're entering the car. And you get two stars on there. But I think that, yeah. uh, I don't know, heist. heist. Like, where heist. are they? Like, literally, heist. Who, who cares? Like, like, Rockstar. Does, does anybody really care at this point? Like, I'll play them, and I'm going to have fun with them. But I've just, I've given up on the, on the point of caring. <laughs> like, they'll come out when they come out. We're just going to have to go into the Rockstar offices and show them a little thing or two. Show them a little firepower. <laughs> show them what's up because we're, we're going to perform a heist on their offices because we're, <laughs> we're sick and tired of waiting here. IRL even, heist pro. Yeah, and we're recorded with GoPros. And like, yeah, guys. Right. We'll do the one uh, like in story mode where we're repelling from the helicopter. <laughs> Somebody Smash. will be on the sniper or on the building. The the uh, who's, who's the pilot? We're Heister, Rockstar. That's, who's that's Austin? Austin. So Austin, who's the sniper? You can be the sniper. Okay, so you're the guy who's Wait, no. repelling in. Yeah, I just want to smash the glass with like yeah, a little. I want to swing in there, and I have like a visual image of me holding onto the rope. <laughs> I just, came in. You wouldn't like even smash through it. You just like 
He was just like, <laughs> I just hit the glass. Like, oh god. Rocks the three guys are actually like, look at this guy. <laughs> How's this guy doing? Yeah. That must be the guy that cleans the windows. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but oh well. Heist, in all seriousness, does anyone even care? Do no. you guys even care that heists aren't out? Nope. No. I, I mean, look, like I said, I'll have fun with them, but I'm like, even the casino and some of the other DLCs, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm more excited for next, like just playing with this new stuff. So. I Maybe like, they'll come up with that, but... I feel like Rockstar and I, just, like... I don't know. Like I've seen a lot of comments where like, oh, man, Rockstar is just literally just holding off heists and trying to make us forget about it by releasing other things. And I was just like, right. you know, it makes sense, but there's no way they could do that. That would be there's so There's no dick. way they could not ever release heists. Yeah. That would be... <laughs> but what I mean, they, really that would just be funny. You? Like, you can only laugh at that. That wouldn't surprise me, actually, but... Cause, like, it's, how many months has it been? Eight, eight <laughs> it's nine been months? It's been a year. Yeah. And he well, said hi, they were marketing heists in the first trailer. God. Come on, man. Band together with you crewmates and take <laughs> and tackle on heists. Like, does anyone care? Right? Yeah, like, I don't care about heists. <laughs> but I, I think it, it's safe to assume now. I care about I, the concept. I was wrong. Unless, unless they magically come out next week on the anniversary, which probably isn't going to happen. I think it's safe to assume that heists are going to be dropping with next gen. Stay tuned. But, man, Stay tuned. It, I, duh. I wonder, like, what the rock star people are thinking about ice. Like, I wonder. I just want to, like, be a fly on the wall in their offices just to see, like, if they're freaking out. Like, this has been, or we've been saying it's going to be out for, like, three months now or whatever, a year now. Where are they at? Or if they're just like, wait, is there anybody even working on heist in here? Or? Check on Bob. It's weird. <laughs> has anyone <laughs> seen Bob? Where the hell is Bob? He needs to work on ice. <laughs> He's been in my A for the past four months. <laughs> <laughs> well, he took a trip to uh, Hawaii. He's on he vacation. Just never returned. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I just think I think it's funny that we're. It's like before we were so pissed. Like where the hell are heists? Now we just joke around about it because we come joke, to a point where oh, yeah. it's like we're like whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Man, I was I was getting I was looking forward to using the heist outfit that Rockstar sent us on. Yeah, stream. on stream, man. This freaking nice red outfit. You know the you know the one you didn't get, Ross? That one. Yeah, the bug star. Bug yeah. star outfit. That was so I was dick. even gonna you go buy a mask and get. everything and <laughs> do heist, man. Oh, I guess we can't do that well, anymore until they come out one day. Never. We can dream. We can Look, they're going to come out on January 27th. Well, no, nah, it'd have to be a couple months after that because if somebody made a mod for it. So. We're, we're delaying PC to give you heist. <laughs> oh, my God. The PC community would literally just erupt. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that, good times. That, uh, if they were to say, sorry, we delayed PC, it's because of heists. Oh, my God. Oh, the, the world would end. I think so. I, I think, and his voice correct there, but I think the like a realistic uh, reason Heist probably was delayed is because they were working on next gen. I, I think they put most of their resources into next gen to get it ready for November eighteenth, and they probably slacked on Heist, which they shouldn't have. Like I'm not saying it's right, but that's probably what happened. Well, this is the first GTA where they've really encountered this issue because Grand Theft Auto 4 came out like a year after the 360 and PS3 came out, so there was no chance they were going to make a next-gen GTA 4. Well, but well, no. GTA 4 on PC was so bad, like, because it was a port. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't like built from scratch. Release, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I've heard, and I haven't played it, so I'm just going to know people's word, but Max Payne 3 on PC was amazing. Like they yeah, said, it was great. I played that yeah. game. From story from start to end, and I also play a little bit of multiplayer. And that game, in my opinion, ran flawlessly. And I actually had a lot of mechanics in GTA Five, which you say, like the cover system yeah. and things. I really enjoyed. And I really, really liked the game a lot. Like, well, I heard the people who who actually made Max Payne on PC. They're, I guess, some of the guys in charge of making GTA Five on PC. So, hopefully, that's good news because obviously they, you know, did good with Max Payne. So GTA Five. Should be pretty good. It shouldn't have the issues that GTA 4 had. Like, I don't know if you guys ever played GTA 4 when it first came out. I never did, but I just saw a lot of people, and there were so many issues, and they had to make so many bug pa- or bug patches and stuff to fix stuff that was just broken because it was just a port. But I, I honestly played a little bit of GTA 4 back in the day, but never really, you know, really, really got into it because I was just like 
so involved with other games back in the day. I'm sure you guys were with like Call of Duty and all that other stuff. I was just so involved with like, you know, Dota 2, Counter Strike, um, more MMO type games. Like in, those, in that time, I was just so involved in other games besides GTA 4 and uh, like other MOBAs and stuff. I was a totally different gamer back when GTA 4 was around. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. And I had no interest in GTA at the time, but um, I think we have come to. Uh, well, no, no, we still. Had, so actually, I'm reading on the newswire real quick. Um, it's pretty cool how they're actually giving you a million dollars if you pre-order the game. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not, okay, it's five hundred. Yeah, it's five hundred thousand in store and five hundred thousand in online. But at least it's something they're giving you Wait, some you free have to money. Pre-order. You yeah. have to pre-order the game. I don't, although. I don't know if it's going to be like you have to do it through an official, like through GameStop only. See, I, I or... think that's bogus. Because like... Why? Because I, I, um, I know that all three of us were fortunate enough to get Destiny early or sent to us by Activision. They were very kind enough to do that. And, I still bought mine. <laughs> and um, in my box or in my game, I had like the pre-order code, like the Vanguard armor stuff. And I didn't pre-order I didn't it. Move. I edition. I Wait, was it in the box? Yeah, the Vanguard armor stuff. It? Mine was. Oh, it's getting. Yeah, oh. Vanguard but, uh, armor. Uh, another, I think the last sort of controversial oh. topic. Oh no no. Never is mind. the exclusive stuff, dude? The exclusive Dukes or the Dukes? Or I can't even speak. The Duke or is the Dodo. it the Dukes? The Dukes. How, what is? Is it the? Is it? Is it's it the Dukes. The Dukes. That's like the singular version. Okay. Dukes. Yeah, the Dukes. I haven't played GTA 4 in a while. And then the Dodo Seaplane, oh, that like, that made my day when I read that because I've been saying this freaking so long, man. I love that plane. I'm so glad it's coming in this game now. That brings back I some Vice land City memories. on the water. Dude, right? I can land in the water and the killer shark or the killer whale can like jump into me and probably blow me up and I'll stab him because I'll jump out. The- oh, I'm going to have so much fun with that. But here's the kicker. You only get that stuff if you played it if you play GTA on PS3 or Xbox 360. If you are a first time user or first time buyer of P- or of GTA on the next gen, you're not gonna get that stuff. God, it doesn't really matter. That's gonna make a lot of people mad. I mean because, do you think people are really gonna care about a plan that can land in the water? Yes, I don't know. If the, someone dude, doesn't dude, have GTA five right now, I don't think they're true. gonna be too particularly pissed about the fact that they don't have three things that they really haven't even well, that, it, that's like saying like, Oh, you don't get the hot knife, the chameleon, or the carbon RS. But the Dukes, that was dude. one of the like most requested vehicles to add in GTA five. What, the Dukes? The Dukes, yeah. I think I think that the uh, the voodoo is more requested. The voodoo is in GTA Five. No, mm-hmm. but like with with the hydraulics. Oh, well, like the San Andreas hydraulics. style. Yeah, but like you can't have a voodoo without hydraulics. Bro, I can have a voodoo without hydraulics. But yeah, I mean the blimp. I, I mean, I guess we can actually use the blimp now in multiplayer. That'd be cool. But I I don't think that'll really matter. And there's not. There says there's uh including wildlife photography as an activity. Like what? They're gonna be like a freaking zoo type of simulator. They're gonna make a an iGram or Insta I don't know, an Instagram thing for animals. It's gonna be a yeah, I snap. A snapomatic. Yeah, I snap there you go for animals. That's gonna be weird. But it's like I mean overall it's, it's, it's so we dumb. got some awesome stuff coming, but it's I'm I, I'm excited. I'm excited. That if that's like if if you said one word, describe Describe what you think about this. I'm excited. Like, yeah. Are there some things that I wish were kind of different? Yeah, of course. But I'm excited. It's new. It's fresh stuff. It's a better version of GTA 5. And what more can you ask than that? So yep. Now it's really just a waiting game to see about the online information. Because all we've gotten so far, well, except for the 30-player uh, multiplayer lobbies. But all we've gotten is single-player gameplay. So... I think the next trailer they'll show, hopefully in the next, what, maybe month? October, you know, maybe? They don't want to wait too long. Then, yeah, it'll be uh, online. And then, obviously, we'll bring you guys. We'll be talking about that stuff. But let us know all your thoughts in the comments about next gen and, and PC and everything that's happened. Yeah, definitely do that. And if you well, made it this far, right? Yes. Pineapple were... in the comments. Pineapple. Pineapple. 
Hashtag pineapple. <laughs> I wonder how many pineapples we're going to get. I hope I see a so thousand. So draw a pineapple. Oh, oh my gosh. Like the whole Bob. Like, here's Bob. He has Actually, a tank. Don't do that because that'll probably... <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> that'll that's not... Yeah, that's a really bad idea. Oh, so let's yeah. let's go, go ahead, Ross, and I'll take us out. And really quickly, guys, we want to mention again: if you guys really want to get some GT Online cash, use some shark cards. You can use OpinionOutpost.com, Ross. You can finish it up real quick and really tell them the detail that they should know in order to really act on this perfect opportunity to make some GT Online cash. Yeah, basically, like I said, you just give your opinion on relatively modern or new stuff, TV shows that you probably watch, video games that you're likely playing right now. All you have to do is sign up. It is free. You can win things like Amazon gift cards, PayPal gift cards. That's what I do. I know Garrett and Austin, they do the same. Just load it up into a shark card, and that's how you pay for all your GTA 5 stuff. Or you can get Microsoft or PSN points, do whatever you want, FIFA coins, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Just check your email. Check the promotions tab. It should be there. You can win ten grand on quarterly prizes as well, so that's super easy. Of course, free to sign up. So do it. Super easy. Click the links in the description. We have one on each of our videos, so it doesn't mm-hmm. matter who you're watching. Just do it. And it should be good. Yep. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you so much. For, thank you so much for watching this week's Squadcast. It is a weekly podcast that we do on each of our channels. Every single day we do upload content, but every Saturday we upload a podcast that we call Squadcast. And if you guys enjoy these, make sure you guys check back every single week, and we'll see you guys next week with a brand new Squadcast. Later, guys. See ya. Peace.